Hello everybody, it's me Bugsy. And it's me Yonky. How you doing, you mooks? Well, we took a fun, delightful little break, didn't we, Yonk? Eh, it's fun and delightful when you're it's kind of fun and delightful when you're freaking playing stuff out of Gmod. I know I'm still waiting for that freaking I'm still waiting for uh that five nights of phrase map to load. How long is that gonna take? I don't fucking know. I got we got I gotta check in a minute. But uh, you know, got go simulator now, guys. It's fun. It, it it's fun. It's fun, guys. It's so much fun. But we're not here to talk about that. Though. So, I don't know, I don't think I could give this thing an honest review. I mean, it, it, it it's, I mean, this <coughs> is the, <coughs> the, the only game that doesn't really deserve a review, because all it is is good, pure, mindless fun. It really doesn't have a structure. Well, actually, Gmod doesn't have a structure. You can do whatever the hell you want in there. So I'm trying to figure out certain things that I want, like, uh, I'm trying to do, like, pictures but the f weird thing is to get Sonic to pose because I was having him like stand over um him stand over Werehog Sonic the like defeated is the monster I was gonna put it on DA you know you know make some weird pictures but actually I also have this um texture I have this texture uh these um Paper Mario models which, if I'm not, if, if, I'm still, I'm still going to go through with my playthrough bridge series. Uh, I'm still going to go through with that. But, it's like, but if something never happens, I could just be like, I can actually have Mario. I can have Mario, or, um. Oh no, no, Bugsy, no! I know, Mother Three is a freaking tear jerker. I don't want to see that. It's just so fucking sad, man. Like the stuff that happens with Klaus's mother, and and the stuff that happens between Lucas and Klaus. And it's just sad. This is a sad fucking game, and at the end of it, you you will literally be depressed on a fictional with fictional characters and their fictional things. Yeah, how it ends is even more fucked up because you know we know that it ends. We know the world kind of ends, but does the world get put back? The is everything okay? Is everything back to the way? The way it was after everything got destroyed, we'll never know. It's always up. To, it's gonna be up to interpretation. It real. I mean, I think at the end of the game, because everybody's talking, I think yes, the world was a little bit. I think the world was put back to normal. Or they could be in some sort of afterlife where everything is okay, but they're actually all dead. Dark, I know, but still makes sense. <clears throat> oh, well, actually, it still has um, it still has the combos from freaking from Tenkaichi. I ain't talking about that. I ain't talking about that ultimate crap. That looks so good, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's not what Forever Rivals is gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be doing another, I'm gonna be doing a video of that pretty soon. But it's pretty much just Ani talking about, like, uh, stuff that me and Rob, uh, stuff that me and Rob would be doing. Hmm. He's cool. 
I can't wait, dude. I all I gotta do is wait wait out this weekend. This long ass weekend. We're freaking we're freaking uh we're freaking have it. And then we'll play it. And then then I'm gonna well, did, are you, did you just say then you're going to fuck it? No. That'd be weird. Why'd you stop like you're about to say it? Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. Don't you fucking worry about it. the combos in this. Very reminiscent of very reminiscent very reminiscent of uh Xenoverse. Hold on for a minute. I mean I mean very reminiscent of uh I say Xenoverse. Very reminiscent of uh I was been Tenkai well actually very reminiscent of Tenkaichi. Like Tenkaichi's combos, it has Tenkaichi's combos. It has Tenkaichi's combos. Ultimate Tenkaichi's like looks. It's like if it's like if, it's like if Ultimate Tenkaichi and Blue Kai uh, made love and had a baby, and this is this would be the baby. No, I never got that buggy. Like when people say that. Because it's like the combination of both, uh, it's the combination of both series is what I'm trying to say. It's like it's the, because it's like the combination, because when people say, like, stuff like that, it's the combination of both things, you know? But then again, I'm seeing a whole bunch of different Dragon Balls and games in one, basically. Really? Yes. Oh, hold on, I got hold on, hold on, I got something I need to take care of. Need to take, uh, I actually need to move Crystal out for a minute. Hold on. So, peeps. So I'm being sure just gonna make this character break down and it's looking beautiful. So I guess fighting his character with uh, one of the other characters, which I actually kind of think is cool. I mean, your character could be like the ultimate boss character. Very decent game, bro. See, yeah, I like those kinds of ends. They always look kind of shady. Yeah, you know, the ones with pictures don't look like, don't look like they're shady. The Great Salmon! The Great Salmon! The Great Salmon, man, 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 So is he like, uh, come, uh, come, man, uh, man, uh, come, man, uh, well, uh, there was a Kamen Rider sidekick that really, that, um, I think you, I don't, I don't even know if you actually know or remember, uh, but there actually was a Kamen Rider that, uh, showed his, uh, like, bottom half of his face, you know. Not his, not his, like, eyes and whatnot, those were still hidden, but, uh, his, like, you know, his, like, mouth, I guess you could see his nose, but yeah. That Sandman rap. It's still the most funniest thing you will ever hear. Ever.
Atrocious. Atrocious go hard. call them atrocious. Why can't we just call them Dark? Dark Gohan. Dark Dark Gotenks. You know, I don't get that. Eh. Oh, well, it's what they want to call them. It's cool. We can call them. We're just going to call them Dark Gohan. Dark, you know, or Dark whatever. Hmm. You know, man, what if they did a, what a freaking, what if they did a man show reunion? Is fan funding a scam? Well, this, well, people that, um, well, I would like to say that it's kind of, it really isn't a scam, it's just the people, it's just the people that run the thing that's trust. I'm Sierra. Okay, let me explain. The people that run the sh the and people that run their uh, little fan funded projects are the ones that are shady sometimes. Other times they'll come through, but like a Mr. Phil Fish, I, you know he, you you know he blocked me on Twitter. Hey everyone, sorry that oh, there was no new video this week, but I got wrapped up in schoolwork, and the video I'm working on is currently a top ten list, and it's probably gonna be pushing ten minutes long, if not a little above that. So bear with me, it'll take another week to make. Oh, what's wrong but with that? in the that? meantime, I decided that I was going to make another video similar to the Nintendo Creator video Go ahead and make a long video. video. Where I give a little bit of a off-the-cuff rant about a subject. Because people seem longer. to enjoy it. Now, the one I wanted to talk about today was uh, some of the hate that I feel Kickstarter and Patreon receive. And I don't feel all of it is just. But I do agree with some of it. Now, the first thing I want to talk about, of course, is Kickstarter, which is kind of the website that started, you could say kickstarted, all of these fan funding websites. It was the first one to really take off and get some media buzz. And uh, we have the Angry Video Game Nerd movie and, well that was Indiegogo, but you also had the Veronica Mars movie that both kind of took advantage of these sort of services. Now there's two arguments that I hear people make against the website that I don't feel is very fair. Mm -hmm. First of all, they say that uh, the content creators or whoever that are posting Kickstarter campaigns um, are not giving the people who are donating a cut of the money if it's successful. The thing is, almost everyone agrees with you on that. Kickstarter. Alright, give, give us a minute. Well, before we pause it again, the thing about Kickstarter is, you know, they they kind of do take a cut of the money if it, they kind of do take their cut. That's just kind of how it works. This is kind of how it is. But we're gonna get back to that in a minute and watch Bugs is about to rage against Phil Fish. Uh, trust me, I'm using this as a, using this as an excuse. So I'll be back, guys. Bugsy, are you just gonna really just open fire on Phil Fish one more time? Yeah, just one more time. <laughs> because seriously, he's the, you know, I think, you know, personally, he's the reason why people don't really trust these indie devs anymore. Or a little bit, not even a little bit. Because he's the reason. Because he's the one that said, hey, I'm going to make a freaking Kickstarter uh, campaign to fetch too. Uh, I'm going to take your money and run. Uh, because I'm a little, because I'm a little bitch boy. That's what I do. I, I apparently wasn't raised right. Charter and the law, in the United States at least currently, do not allow you to have people donate money in the way of Kickstarter campaigns and then get a cut of the money afterwards. It currently does not work that way, but hopefully in a few years that changes. So no one's arguing with you on that point. Everybody wants that to happen. People want to have a perk where if you donate a certain amount of money, you get a one point cut in the sales of the movie. But that currently is not an option with these fan funding websites right now. Uh, but hopefully that will change. In now the, the second point is a lot of people will say, well even if I could get a cut of the money, uh, you know these people they could go and then not deliver the product and it could fail and then everybody's left without anything and they just wasted their money. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Well of course that happens. I mean it's kind of 
of a risk you're taking when you use a website like this. If you go and donate, not donate, I should say, but invest money into another business and it fails, that's kind of just the risk. You know, or, you either... Oh, snap, Bugsy, come on, man. Do we, does he, is he really that worth it? Yes. Just one more time. Huh? One more time, Yunk. Give me one more fucking time with that motherfucker. Okay. See, yeah, if it's not successful, or if, or, if you deal with Phil Fish, I mean, or, or, Phil Fish, he took your, he took people's money, and he said, hey, I'm gonna make friends too. See, that's why, I, that's why I don't like the dude, just because, he thinks just because, oh, he made friends, he's just entitled to our money, he's just entitled to you guys' money, and that ain't cool. That ain't cool. You know? But hey, every little stupid thing he says on Twitter, I just want to, I want to choke the man. I want to literally put my hands on his neck and start choking him. <laughs> That's me, Bugsy, but if we're being serious, well, I'm being somewhat serious, but I know you would, you would do something even more crazy. Well, since you asked. I would, I would go to his house. I'd knock on the door. I'd be like, are you Phil Fish? He'd say, he'd, he'd say yes. And then I would beat the living shit out of him. I'd be like, mm, where's that money, man? Where's that money? I'm going to give him all back the money. First, I'm going to feed you some of it. <clears throat> you like that money, Phil Fish? You like that money? God damn. <laughs> yuck. Yuck. Calm the fuck down. I mean, Jesus. I want to beat the motherfucker too, but Jesus, you want to feed him the people's money? You might as well. He wants to be a little money hunk. Let's give him some of that money. Let's shove it in his mouth. and shove it in his throat. Let's see how he likes that. Little bitch. Trust me, he hides behind that whole... He hides behind, he's like to say shit on tw Twitter because he thinks someone's going to kick his ass. Oh, people found out where he was. People would kick his ass. He'd get his little, he'd get his little dev ass kicked. I doubt he can fight. <laughs> okay, man, but we we really gotta keep going with this video. And listen to what uh, Gamer from Mars has to say. The Gamer from Mars. Are we even gonna talk about the whole uh, people going um, to colonize Mars? Oh, we will. Just not now. But can we talk a little bit about it right now? Okay. People, people, okay. A few years from now, people are going to go and colonize Mars. They're doing like a project. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm not going, I'm not going, me and, me and Yonk ain't going to Mars. Fuck no. I don't even care what you guys have to say to us. We ain't going to Mars. <laughs> Shit, we're Earthers. We're Earthers, and we're not going. We ain't going. We ain't going up there. We ain't going up there. It, it it's not happening. It's not feasible. I'm not even going. I'm not even going kidding because I, because we know some 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 freaking crazy, some dude is gonna go crazy up there and be and act exactly like fucking Carver, be like survival of the fittest and shit. Or it could be like Apollo 13 and uh, Moon Spiders. I mean, you know, we know that's fake, but we don't know what kind of shit would, would happen if we went up into Mars. Exactly. So you get something in return. In this case, it would be a copy of the movie or a t -shirt. And I was like, yeah, but, this one dude, we were, we, I was like in the bathtub, Yonk was like, uh, Yonk was like sitting, you know, it, you know, getting washed up in the shower. Uh, we were both like in, like, he was in the shower and I was in the tub and we just were listening and the one dude's like my, my you know my sis, my freaking daughter's like I, I don't think you should go my son is like I think you should go it sounds cool but his, his wife's like things are a little tense with my wife I'm like 
what do you expect? He's not going to ever see you again, you fucking idiot. God dang, I bet you she'd be all tense. It's not like you guys can call, it's not like you can call her from Mars every night. I think that shit is selfish. I mean, I'm saying, get some people, get some people that don't really have, what, don't really have, like, girlfriends or whatever, you know, you know, let them bang up on there. They're not gonna bang in Mars, but you know how weird that would be? Think about it, man. Okay, I guess I see your point. And if it failed... <clears throat> Uh, you don't get anything. And that's why you have to judge a pro project before you invest in it or donate in the sense of Kickstarter. Uh, now you may say, well, how should I know if I, what's going to be good or not? Well, who is going to deliver on their promises? Because anybody could just kind of steal the money and run with it and Full never fish. give anybody <coughs> anything in return. Well, that's why when you're looking at Kickstarters, you should first tell, well, this is just personal anecdote of mine. I don't know if anybody would agree with it. But see if the person is reputable. So if you see a YouTuber, like let's say the Angry Video Game Nerd, makes a Kickstarter saying he wants to make a movie, you look at him and you say, hey, this guy has something to lose if he does not deliver. He has a reputation on the line. If you see a person starting a Kickstarter that you've never heard of before and wants to make a movie and they have no experience in the film industry, well then maybe you should be a little skeptical. You know, but I, I knew I knew freaking Angry Video Game Nerd was gonna pull through with this movie because God dang, he did ask for he did ask for a lot of people's money, and I know the I know the man felt uncomfortable, and you can see in the video, you can see in the video that he kind of was. Personally, I like to context some of these people. You know, if I mean I never really shell out any money for a Kickstarter campaign, but. I'm, if I want other people to shell out money for these Kickstarter campaigns to help these people out, I, I gotta contact these folks. Just kind of how I've done now, it. Now, there's still people that will complain, and I don't disagree that there are arguments against the website. But yeah. the thing is, if you do not like it, just do not donate money. Nobody is forcing you to donate money to Kickstarter or any of the websites similar see, to it. See, but, but you see, Gamer, Gamer from Mars, people like to flip their... Sh People like to lose their shit whenever they ask, whenever people ask for donations. You wanna, you wanna, guys, you wanna freaking, you guys wanna freaking like, uh, you guys wanna know? Because I'm gonna show you an old video of what I'm talking about. And also, I'm gonna sh probably, I'm gonna show you some videos of people being, you know, See, now I'm gonna show you for everywhere. This is the first time I've seen for everywhere. Hey, what's up, everybody from Never World here? See, look, 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 look. See, this is, see, see, look. I, this is when I, you know, this is when I first saw for everywhere, and this is what really got me angry about him in the first place. And when I think about it, I, I don't even know why I subscribed to the man because I, because I had a sense I kind of butt, I, you know, but. I was butting heads with him a lot, you know? I didn't be doing that all the time. You know, and people, it became a staple. You've got I should be able to be like... Or, oh, they'll um, show me once later. Or, oh, I can go on the internet and watch it, etc. You know, that era is done. Toonami had its run. It was at a time... Hypocrite, 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 hypocrite. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know, just seeing this video again and remembering that uh, when he saw Toonami coming back, he was acting like, he was like, Yay! Oh my god, Toonami's coming back! It just, it, it, it really just pisses me off because really, you know, these people were trying to do what they were, they were trying to do Toonami, uh, Neo, Neo Toonami, and they succeeded. They succeeded heavily, and this motherfucker I just, like, got angry at because, you know, I make my own fan project, you know, 
It's like, it's not really the real thing. I was like, motherfucker. See, that's what started it. See, but here's how he is. He's, it's like he's being full. It's like he was being. It's like. Okay, look, look, look. It's like he, he was being. It's like they were forcing him. And real, you know, I, I would just let it be. You know, a lot of people I talk about, it, I would have let it be, let them fall on their face. But because then I go to the website, I look around, and I see a donation. See, 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 and this is why I hate people that trip out about donations. If they're asking for donations, they're not fucking forcing you idiots to do it. Jesus, not everything, not ev like if you're going to donate, go ahead and donate. No one is forcing you to. But if you don't want to donate, don't donate. Don't even make it into a big fucking case about it. See, that's what I'm like about Forever World. He has to make everything a big fucking ordeal. Especially the whole death battle thing. You made that into a big fucking ordeal. Preach. Motherfucker, shut up. Shut up about preaching. Fuck you, man. You were messed up. That's amazing and awesome action guard is. Blah, blah. To, to me, it's. He's one of those guys, this old. This were old and. In the early days, but <laughs> sorry, I'm just reading this again. The point is, is the next generation kids who are unfortunate or do or do not have the internet or take on discard. TV has a dad out dead. I'm glad that they that they brought it back. It in it ensures the anime will have a future. See, 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 but you know, like I said, no one was forcing this man to do anything. I don't even think you're getting just like I think he like I disabled it. But really, you know, no one was forcing him to do anything about this. You know, and really, a few other people, you know, when I saw the other people actually just saying, like, you know, who, you know, it's actually pretty good. I had hope for, I had hope for Neo Tanami. I did. And it, it, it exceeded everything I thought it was going to be. And I enjoyed it. I I watched it mostly every day when I came home because I was still in high school at the time. And whenever I got a chance. Because usually at school I'd get all my stuff done. So I'd just veg near my computer and be like, it's freaking. It's free. But mostly on Friday I'd be like, yeah, it's Friday night, yeah. You know? But it goes back to my point where where people act where people ask for donations and they act like freaking idiots. They act like freaking idiots about people asking for donations. If you don't wanna donate, don't donate. No one is forcing you. Don't act like you don't act like don't freaking flatter yourself. They probably don't need your money if you're gonna be acting like a little whiny if you're gonna act like a little whiny bitch about it. That's the kind of crap I don't like. You know. Hey, you know. That's why I started hating the art stream for a bit. Because, again, I saw another person tripping out, tripping out about someone asking for donations. Again, you don't have to do these donations unless you don't, if you don't want to. No one's, like I always say, no one's forcing any of you to donate. You know. It really, it really like pissed me off. 
especially, you know, especially Freaking Forever World because it's like, it's like Forever World, to be quite honest, it's like he, he was, it's like they were forcing him. He had to like, you know, people were forcing him to do all this stuff when they weren't even trying to. You know, it, like, it really kind of pisses me off because it's like, why should people even ask for donations for people that, why should people even ask for donations if, if, if some of these people are going to act like little girls about it? I'm Sage. I am, I am people around the end of the year getting worried about it because he was like, he was axing his fans. And most of these people just took that as an offense, like, he's asking us for money, his channel makes more revenue, blah, blah, blah. And probably not enough to make a movie. And that's the thing. Not enough to make a movie. It's just how people are, Bugsy. They, you, you ask them for something, they gonna get all freaking bent out of shape about it. It's purely optional, and if somebody wants to, what's the big deal? If they want to do it, I don't see who's getting harmed in that equation. In conclusion, I know that there are problems with both of these platforms, but the thing is, it is a very new industry of fan funding, and it has not been fully developed yet, so there are still questions that are asked. There are still laws that are preventing Hey, want to see the history of Punch-Out? Yeah, man, let's do it. But personally, man, I'm kind of with you, but it's just how people are. They act like... Hey everyone, and welcome to my like, series, who are, you to be ask, who are you to be asking us to donate? I'm like... You know, you know, it, you know, if someone was asking... If someone was asking to donate to a charity... People would be like, oh yeah, let me do that! But if someone's asking for money for some for help or just a little bit so their freaking project can get off the ground a little bit. Oh, it's a problem. Only over game franchises with long and often confusing histories while trying to give a brief And Patreon's just there to help the creators because YouTube doesn't episode, make shit. Like their revenue the revenue system is like up, up to so hell. Mac being a playable character in the new Smash Brothers, I thought it'd be a perfect time to go over the game's thirty year history. Ooh. Ew. Ew. In 1983, Nintendo created an arcade game based around the sport hey, of well, boxing. Hey, did you ever find that uh, episode of Free Game, or uh, did you rent a game, Angel, where the, the kid world. is molesting the adults? One of the, the main things that made this game unique was uh, the no, I didn't. displays, which gave the player uh, all the information about the fight on the top screen. I want to watch that one again. On the bottom. It's also worth mentioning that Punch-Out! was the first game ever completed by Koji Konda, who went on to create the music for Super Mario Brothers, The Legend of Zelda, and Star Fox. Another thing that Star made the game unique was that it wasn't going for realism, but rather had the player trying to understand the opponent's varied movesets, so that with enough practice and patience, anyone could learn how each boxer thinks and attacks. This gave the game quite a bit of strategy, which played a big role in it being a success. The game was such a hit that Nintendo created a Game & Watch version soon after. Ugh. the success of the original, Nintendo created Super Punch-Out! How would that even year, work? Which had the same arcade cabinet design as the original, along with much of the same gameplay, which had been tweaked a bit, along with the new cast of characters to fight. Nintendo also allowed for their new boxing game to be ported over to several home PCs, with the name changed to the Frank Bruno's Boxing. In this version, the nameless protagonist is now changed to the famous boxer Frank Bruno, but most agree that this version is an extremely inferior port. The same year Super Punch-Out! was released, Nintendo mm. also created the spin-off game Arm Wrestling, which plays much like Punch-Out!, but with the sport being switched. While there's not much more to be said about Arm Wrestling, it is worth mentioning that it was the last arcade game independently released by Nintendo, before they moved their efforts over to the NES. With Nintendo's newly released home console, mm. they decided Texas that the Punch-Out! series needed representation on the system. So in 1987, they released their new version of Punch-Out! in a gold cartridge mm. that was given as a prize to the winners of a golf tournament. Soon after, the president of Nintendo of America decided they should license the name of the boxer Mike Tyson for the U.S. release. While most 
sports games that license the name of an athlete usually make them playable, hmm. that wasn't the case for What do you think, Jack. man? Instead, you were playing as the black-haired New Yorker Little Mac. From all reports, it seems that Mike Tyson didn't have any influence in making the game, with him even stating that he couldn't beat the easiest character, Glass Joe. Hmm. While Punch-Out! featuring Mike Tyson created some new fighters, they also brought back others. But the Russian rival Vodka Drunkinsky from Super Punch-Out! had his name changed to Soda Popinski to make it past <laughs> American censors. Because you know, apparently it's inappropriate to stereotype the Russian character as a vodka-drinking alcoholic, yet having the Frenchman be a wimpy pushover and the Indian guy fly around on a magic carpet while taming tigers is perfectly acceptable. Now some people may become confused at the fact that there are two versions of Punch-Out on the NES. One featuring Mike Tyson and the other having the fictional character Mr. Mr. Dream. Dream. But these are both the same game with Mike's character sprite being swapped out in the latter. Many believe that they changed the game in response to Tyson's rape conviction. But this is actually not true since the new version was released prior to the incident. The real reason for the change was that Nintendo's license for his name was up. Hmm. A few years passed when a new iteration of the series was released for the Super Nintendo. This is and my. This is my. This is my. Punch but the real out, man. kicker is that Nintendo decided to name the game Super Punch Out. Because I didn't play the old Punch Out until the like. The series goes from Punch Out to Super later. Punch Out, then back to Punch Out, then to Super Punch Out again. The only way Nintendo could make this more confusing is if they went back to Punch Out for the next. Which uh, they did. Ignoring the name, Why didn't they just the call Punch Out really 4 or Super Punch, Punch Out? Oh my players. god. You would think he would be Little Mac. But upon starting the game, you realize he looks nothing like the NES or arcade version. Add that to the fact that you could choose his name leads many gamers to believe that this is a completely new character. On the other hand, some point out that the virtual cute. console release of Super Punch Out specifically refers to him as Little Mac. And in the GameCube version of Fight Night Round 2, the Super Punch Out protagonist is a fightable character with the announcer referring to him as Little Mac from Tokyo, Japan, even though he was from New York in the NES version. So you may be asking yourself, is he or is he not Little Mac? And the answer to your question is, no one really knows, because Nintendo's never bothered to give us a straight answer. The I just call him Super Little Punch Mac. Out would be in 2008, when the Little Mac from the NES version appeared in both Super Smash Bros. as an assist trophy, and in Captain Rainbow, where you find a morbidly obese version of his character. Man, I so wish that Oi. I don't want to see Captain Rainbow because I, I hear it's pretty cool. And I wish they would just bring it over here. With this, the series now at five games. Three called Punch Out and the other two called Super Punch Out. I'm pretty sure they're just messing with us at this point. The Wii version falls along in the footsteps of its predecessors, with them bringing back some of the series' best known rivals. But the character Piston Hondo was changed to Piston Hondo which was most likely done to prevent any legal issues from the car mm. company Honda. Next, Nintendo released a downloadable game that consisted of an extra fighter for Little Mac to box in the Wii version. Which was Doc and Lewis. And finally, he was included as a playable character in Smash Bros. 4. And we all wanted him to be in there. So bad. I mean, I think people still have the texture hat. The, uh, hacks. The character, the character hacks of having him in there. Uh, you know, Lil Mac is pretty awesome. If I'm not playing as my me version of myself, Bugsy, I'm usually playing as Lil Mac. I know, no, I know. <laughs> then you, get, then when you win a fight as Lil Mac, you get all worked up and start calling people bitch. Like we're like we were playing like a few a few a few weeks ago. You were like. Come on, Bugsy, let's do this, bitch. I did not call you a bitch. I did not. Yeah, you did. You got all worked up, start calling. You, you said you got worked up, and you called me, you called me a bitch, and then we just <laughs> kept going. <laughs> I don't remember that. I'm sorry if I did. I'm sorry if I did. I, I would never call you a bitch, honestly. Like seriously, not even if I was mad. Like, even if I was mad, I would still not call you that. What is up, guys? Matt, the owner of Phil's Channel here. I wouldn't call you that bitch, really, unless I was angry as fuck. So, in the newest mobile game being made 
by Sonic Team and Sega Networks, Sonic Runners, Our Heroes, Sonic Tails and Knuckles got some design changes that radio actually make them look like a mashup of their classic forms and modern forms. And don't worry, none of them are covered in sports tape. So let's go ahead and take a look so you know yes, what I'm talking the sports about. Tape is Sonic. not that bad. Now on the left is his model from Sonic Lost World, and on the right is his model from Sonic Runners. And as you can see, Sonic Runner Sonic looks a lot more chubby. His arms and legs are a bit bulkier. His quills are shortened. He is definitely a lighter shade of I blue. swear if and freaking if freaking Mario Plumbers is hentai quills, we're talking about Sonic, Sonic Runners, man, and we see that video, I'm gonna lose it and figure out a way to choke him over the freaking computer screen. How's that gonna happen? You're gonna just you know, pull a freaking, uh, you know, pull a freaking, you know, pull a freaking Nightmare on Elm Street and be like, oh, shut up, <laughs> shut up. This looks smaller in general. The thing is, though, he still looks modern. He still has the green eyes, and he still has that kind of modern Sonic-ish look to it. Next up is Tails, and it's pretty much the same as Sonic. His hair, or whatever you want to call that top thing, Looks a bit shorter. His arms, legs, and tails look chubbier, and thing, so man. does his body. But Runner's tails is still pretty much the same as Tails has ever looked. No major changes, but a little bit of tweaks here and there. And finally, we have Knuckles, which is pretty much the same thing that happened to Tails. No major changes, but he does look a little bit chubbier in the legs and arms. His spikes are a bit smaller, as you can see, and he just looks, you know classic in general but still has that modern touch does anyone else think that this knuckles also looks like the one in sonic heroes maybe kind of sort of maybe? but this was the owner of tails channel be sure to tell me in the comments if you enjoy these design changes for sonic in the God game if you are informed be sure to leave a like, like comment, comment and subscribe to the latest get the it's radio, man. Job news and updates see you guys love next it. time and sorry young i love it man Anything else we need to do? No, I think that's about it. Uh, see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was like really, really fucking long. I tried my best. Um, but yeah, and tomorrow, um, uh, I guess Saturday afternoon, maybe. If I can get up early enough. I'll see you guys later, and oh yeah, after this, right now, there's only one, two, three, four, four days until Xenoverse. I hope you're ready, kids, because I'm ready. My body is ready. My body is ready. So, I'll be, I'll see, I'll be seeing you. Bye, your mooks. We'll be we'll be back tomorrow.